Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. Bye. I'm on a I'm on a bridge. <laughs> to nowhere, I guess. Oh man, this is Bansy. Bansy, 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 Bamboo Bridge. So I've decided to start the vlog here in case it gives way. Because <laughs> I know how much you'd love to see me <laughs> going downstream. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, there's a mill. <laughs> yes. Oh my pie. With this <laughs> lovely river. <laughs> It's nicked Vang Vien. It's like being in, it, for me, it's just like being back in Vang Vien 11 years ago when I lived in the other side bungalows along a river very much the same colour as this one. <laughs> and the bungalows were very much like that. And funny thing is, they run the tubing. They have a tubing thing here. Shall I tell you all about it? See, I just sent a place that do it for 200 baht. And I think they take you upstream, you get in the tubes, and then you come down in this lovely, lovely, refreshing, clean looking river. <laughs> and of course they had that in Van Vieng, the tubing, but it got shut down about 10 years ago due to how many people died there at the start. Uh, I spent quite a lot of time there, so I won't run on about Van Vieng or Lao just yet. Uh, I'll wait until I get there, which won't be for quite some time. There's a few countries or places I've got to go before I go back there. Yeah? I want to give it a bit of time so I can go back and tell you how much it's changed and that. But yeah, so I've woke up anyway yesterday. Pi is quite a quiet little spot until about five o'clock. And then all the businesses start opening. There's a little drink thing here. They don't like you drinking after five o'clock. I found that out. Uh, I think it's due to somebody Thai people got drunk and raped a girl on a train and that's it so the rest of us can't fucking drink it's like but that happens in Thailand quite a lot it's why there's no alcohol in the national parks and things like that due to one person getting whatever uh, um, so so anyway pie so anyway last night at five o'clock I was in the Vespa bar I went to I was having a little drink and then I saw the cloud coming over I thought it was going to piss down the rain. So I managed to more or less get back to my apartment before it rained. So disappointed with 7-Eleven, didn't have hardly any stock. Um, so I went, uh, got home and chilled out. I bought a couple of Leos um, and that was literally me. And then it's rained through the night and then we've woke up this morning and that rain has just kind of stopped in the last 10 minutes and you'll see all the cloud in the mountains but i've just been for breakfast it was all right <laughs> now pi many years ago would have been a really cool place wouldn't have been hardly anybody here but it wouldn't have been i can see that from arriving i can see the old parts of pi and then of course i can see the new parts of, of pi as well and so i can literally see that this place is nothing like like it ever was or used to be it reminds me of it reminds me of a lot of places and that which of course i will well i'll do i'll just have a little mill about this morning and like i say the place doesn't come alive till five o'clock and then because everybody's walking in the streets and i suggest you don't bother with the moped you know it gets really annoying after a while <laughs> i feel like buying a fucking great big truck and just plowing down the road and taking everyone out with great big scoop on the front a fucking great digger or something man because it's tommy tourist town um and i've seen it we, when i lived in greece in 1989 we used to laugh about it all the time and the tourists you'd tell them because we're all walking in the road uh I used to wind the greeks up something rotten and some of the greeks used to ride into the on, on purpose they, they used to and cause a lot of injuries and fair fair you know because tommy tour they never learn they're on holiday aren't they so the brains what we used to say is the brains get left on the planes and since i've been in pie last night and this morning that's what it is it's no longer like a hippie type thing you've laid back no it really isn't what it is it's an extremely commercial place to rip young tourists of as much money as the tires can possibly get off them to fund their perhaps hippie lifestyle a little bit out of the way from this centralized pie and so that that's what i'll go and do a vlog about that tonight so you can see 
the old part of Pine what it used to be, but that, that's long gone with the people that were here. It's all, it's like what I say, wherever you go to these places, it's the places which are okay, but it's the people that are in them that really make it, you know, and so, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not really for me, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you and I'll show you why. Okay, still early. And so I just wanted to show you, look, the, the clouds, the rain clouds just rolling through the mountains of where the big Buddha is uh, in the mountains. Right there, like that. Fucking ticking. Oh, it's the electronics on the scooter, because I forget to not turn it off fully. So, yeah, that is it. And as you can see, even on a wet day, the countryside here is beautiful. It really is. Rolling mountains, mist and lovely greenery I mean just like you get anywhere else in Thailand <laughs> I mean tell me somewhere in Thailand where you don't get wonderful scenery just like that you know just like that you, you'll see that anywhere and everywhere in Thailand but there's a little bit I want to take you to just around the corner um, well not around the corner just literally there i could just see the future you know like i say i can talk to you about the past of pi but as i can see the past and as i can see how things are i can also see the future of pi <laughs> i'm just a little way down from the river i fucking seen a seen a weird looking moped that can't be Look, is that Zelda? Well, you all know who Zelda is. Zelda should be in Laos right now. But is that little Zelda, is it? In that tiny little tent? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think there's a P. Diddy in there. No. No, it'd be funny if he now popped his head out. It would be, but I don't think so, no. That's not what i come down here for. This is what i come down here for, to show you this lovely river. It is a huge gravel bar, nice, clean, lovely gravel. <laughs> right. And then this area where you can just come and rack up, park, leave your litter everywhere, you know, tent over there, loads of litter. You can just literally come to this place, rack up, you can camp. And, and, and I, when I say I see the future, can you see it? YouTubers are going to be coming here in the next few years i'll tell you why right because what i think they'll do they'll probably clean that gravel up a little bit might even put a couple of palm trees there they might even put some kind of filtration system so that water turns a lovely turquoise and blue they'll get rid of the grass they'll put a load of sand there a load of white sand all along here and landscape it and then young youtubers from all over the world will be coming here calling pie the next barley which, if, if, if they keep up with the litter and the rest of it, this will be the next barley. It will be the next shithole of Asia. That is what I predict. Keep an eye on this place over the next few years. And I honestly do. I, protect, I bet you a young YouTuber will come along and go, buy the next barley. It's funny. <laughs> Put that in your notebook. Countryside is awesome. It is. Just ridden along this little track as I saw a sign for Long Neck Karen House in Pai. The Long Necks. I know there's a whole village you can go and visit that these people, I don't know if this is the village, I don't know, but look, now I have a little bamboo. I know it's all overcast and rainy, it is what it is. But it is a cool place. I am going to be looking to show you some muddy rivers. <laughs> oh, and little little water estuaries and stuff here, look. And bamboo bridges. And like what I said, you can see. <laughs> Get a bit of sand in there. This is pie. It's going to be the next barley. We've got some dude there doing a weird dance. Maybe some chanting or whatever. Getting into some form of hedonism oh he spotted me and now stopped <laughs> be at one with yourself until so until i see some camp watching <laughs> it is what it is he's now hit he up he's he's doing his fucking thing there boy and that <laughs> as i'm doing my thing 
Now we are going, walking in here, looking for some of these long necks. That's what we shall call them. Cat on. People in pie. Right there. It's just lovely, nice landscapes. Bit of garage, long necks, this way. I've never seen a long neck person in reality, in real life. I've only seen one on the telly. Long neck. <laughs> I wonder if they're awake. I don't know. I wonder if it's too early for them to come out and perform for the for the visitor. But hell man. Long neck village. I'm going in. I think oh, oh, okay. There's one. I think it is they sell all their tapestries, which is what they make. Oh young lady here putting her headscarf on. Wow. Is can film? It's okay. Wow. Let me get a with a long neck lady. Wow. Good eye. How many rings? How many? 23. 23. How, would you put one on for each year? Mm. One every year? No. No? Not every year. Maybe four years, five years start. Then you, you, you put? Yeah. Okay. Wow, wow. Thank you. Cup on, cup on cap. You're just getting, waking up. Just getting ready. Oh man, there's another. T oh, wow. <laughs> cup on, cup on cap. Hello. How are you? You're good? Wow. Wow. Do, do you make all, all of these? We do. Okay, and the scarves. Oh, okay. Awesome. It's early. Bit early. Okay. Cup and cap. Thank you. Oh, man. It is. These, it, it, it is what it is. I think these, these villagers, the long neck people, they're old tribes of people and they're kind of segregated to a point from the Thai society, which is why they live in, in designated places. Not 100% sure if I'm correct in saying that, but it's definitely something along those lines. So it's, you know, wow, look, they are cool. Oh, they're really cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy something from one of them, I will. I'll have to buy a little long, I, I will, like I say, there's, there's the things you do on your travels, you've got to pick, got to pick things up. So will I buy something off this lady, you know. So like I say, I know I take the mickey, I always do, I, I just can't, that's what I do, isn't it? I see the funny side of things or whatever. But, but joking aside, obviously pie is, is it's like anything when you're, tra if you're traveling, then it's definitely on the tick list if you're on holiday. I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't, and if you're a real hippie type person, then go to Ko Chang. You, you, you've, got the, you've got the best of what you like there, and beaches which, which are empty, you know. Okay, swaddy cap. I want to buy, oh man, is yours? Oh, this one? Ah, ah, oh man. I want, what are these? Oh, it's a key ring. No, oh man, I need something yeah, small. Ah, oh, yeah, but you want the dark it. one. Yeah. Tell you what, darling, I'll buy this one. Mm. Looks same you. Mm. Yeah, same you. Uh, how much? Baht. How much? One hundred. Yeah. I'll go for that. Ah, oh, yes, okay. One hundred baht. Right, I've got to pay the lady, and then I will be on my way. So hang on with me, I'll go and find something else of an interest. Joined the tribe, look. I'm part of the gang. How cool is that? Lady says, try this on for a photo. So I think I'll be using this as a thumbnail. Awesome. Kapum. Kapum cap. Thank you. Thank you. This is the road I'm on, is the road to where I've just come from, from the Long Neck uh, people's place. And as I said, the countryside, it is just, it's awesome. You can just get the bird sound. Oh, 
and that peacefulness. As you can see, this guy, I don't know if you see the little shed, there's two people there, uh, where somewhere around here. They've obviously been cutting the rice this morning. So you can see all this rice fields just been cut. And I guess they come out because it got a little bit damaged from the heavy rains last night, as you can see that. As there's one, two, three, four, five, six people over there working in the rice farm this morning. And it's just, oh man. And you can hear behind me, that's a little waterfall. Now I wish, I should have brought me BC with me today because this greenery is so rich. It's so rich. I, I'm really looking forward to when the sun come out. I'll be getting the drone out and I will be making a film about the countryside around here without a doubt. Here's the noise behind me, look, all the, all the way along the side of the road you've got this dike that's been built that goes all the way along and it'll be some kind of water. You can see the pipeline there, so people are filtering it. But it's so idyllic, it just goes all the way up on this left hand side and there's more rice paddy fields and stuff up there on the left. Um, if you want to come and see people at work early morning, uh, which is cool, it's just, like I say, just stood here right now, you know. Oh, mate, I love the line of those conifer looking trees, look. I don't know if that's the road that will take me up to the Buddha, but it's just, good morning, Pi! <laughs> Isn't it? It's awesome. It's nice. Hmm. That was a moment. That was a moment. Right, on we go. Breaking news, guys. <laughs> Breaking news. World class news for you today. Hi. Jimmy Savile is not dead. No, no, no. He's alive and well and living in Pi instead. How's Hi. about that then? Good morning. Here he is. <laughs> the legend, the Jimmy Savile. Hey, you. <laughs> I appreciate that, oh, buddy. Well done, that was really good, ain't you, young lady? <laughs> That's a really good sport for me to let do that. Monkey. Funny. Monkey, yeah. Have a good day, okay, mate. Then, no Cheers, problem. buddy. Awesome. Oh, milling about. That's all I do. I just keep milling about and I do find stuff. And I've got to give this guy a big thank you because, as you can see, all the motorbikes are parked over there, as is mine. But I didn't park over there, I parked right here. But this guy, it's what he kept. You good? Good. He actually told me that I couldn't park there and I had to park over there. So he's my winner. He's the first person. I've been around this area for six days, Chiang Mai and Pai. He's the first one who's actually said that uh, introduced me to like where I can park. Obviously I've had loads of comments so I have found out about that. But how cool. One person actually told me. None of the bar owners or restaurant owners or waiters have said anything, you know. Um, but you would have thought they would have done. And how cool was that meeting? Meeting Mr. Jimmy Seville in person. <laughs> uh, the guy, I, I saw him in the street and I thought, oh man, wouldn't that be funny? I saw the cigar in his hand, right? And um, he's cool. He's Australian, by the way. So, you know, good, good, good for him, man. Really good sense of humor. And I thank him for let, letting me do that. Because <laughs> after I saw him in the street, I thought, oh man, I'll go back and I'll, I'll do, I saw the cigar and, uh, and um, I thought it'd be quite funny. So that's what I did. And for him to play along, top marks, mate. Yeah, he found it quite funny. Some people will probably be like, fuck off, I don't want to be there, have that sort of association. And it's just really good funny. So, isn't it really good funny? So, what I've now stumbled across, as you can see, is a local market. Just, just for, I should think mainly Thai people, there's no way the Westerners are going to stumble across this. It mainly look like fruit and veg. Oh man, all stuff to do with cooking, herbs. Oh man, look at the tiny little garlics, man. They're wicked. You can chomp on them all day, little green chilies. Oh man, micro garden this your lady's got. Cup on cap. Cup. Boom. There's all sorts, all sorts. Got a little tomatoes, look. Oh man, green tomatoes, little little shallot onions. Oh, mate, look, you can get cauliflower here. You can get cabbage, get onions. You can get, I think that's that's also a cabbage as well. And you can get what looks like, look at them, 
with two different brands or maybe three of new potatoes oh, they would make wicked chips they really would the type of person learn how to do proper chips they'd have a queue they would they'd have a business but you know what would happen if it was a chip shop then proper chips be another one next door within two weeks and then another you'll end up with a whole row you'll arrive here in a couple of years thinking fucking hell call them chip shops <laughs> <laughs> oh man look oh this is the stuff you get in green green curry right for green curry and all the chilies and i like i like the little garlics man they're really cool really cool oh man so it is it's just a little bit of me stumbling about pie them spuds i've got look they're good they are good looking spuds they really are <laughs> love a spud who don't love a spud oh that looked a bit i don't know what that is look like some flies perhaps got caught up in the flower don't know <laughs> looks appetizing i think it's just i don't know don't know what that is a bit risky is what that looks to me but i'm liking where the old guard i like and look the grounds at the market <laughs> it's a tie plate and tell because it's kept nice and tidy <laughs> the other type of people they like a bit of litter about them they do it makes them feel at home oh, okay i thought she'd made some chips for a minute oh man what what this one chip full full oh full not from potato what are they man i've got to try one can i try one yeah need no a little one mm. all right there's nothing inside them a bit greasy okay <laughs> cup on cap a bit greasy thank you oh man so yeah just a little walk about um, so I see if there's anything of an interest, not really. <laughs> she says, but look, here is a little market. You probably won't see another Westerner here. Unless they know, unless they live here and probably know how to come and get some cheap fruit and veg. Or where to get our spuds from. Wicked. Uh-huh. Okay. So the weather is, is, is lifting. It was fairly cold this morning. It really was. So I was like, I thought, well, it was actually raining this morning when I got up at about five. I just edited my my little vlog, the last one of Chiang Mai, I think, this morning. And then um, that was pretty much me. I'm sitting there, hearing the trickling of the rain till about 7, 7.30. I thought I'd better get on my way. I'm still looking to see if there's anything I can eat or try. Oh man. But no. 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 A decent little market, something different. You know when you kind of write about something and you're like, no way. Really? You know what I was just saying? Like, pie is going to be the next barley. So they'll clean some gravel up. Man, I can't believe what I'm now seeing. Look, I was like, I thought, I, I, look. So here is the river, right? <laughs> so you can see there is a flow. This beautiful backdrop of the mountains. <laughs> There's already some rafting. That gravel bar has been put there. That's raw sewage. <laughs> but look what they're doing. They are. The JC, sorry, the Komatso, sorry. The Komatsu, the cheaper version of the JCB. <laughs> it's all this old, what is it, granite or sandstone? It's hard to tell. It's all granite. All this granite rock. It's all granite. It's a granite. <laughs> but they are. Do it, and it's a mixture of granite and that and see it with the water. It's a mixture of granite, slate and sandstone. They're building these platforms. They are going to turn. <laughs> they are going to turn pie into the next barley. 
I fucking kid you not. I thought I was taking the piss, but I'm not. I see the future. I do. <laughs> and they will. They're already doing the tubing, but I see that's probably why they've built up this bar to keep that flow on that bend to keep the to keep the river running. But uh, the reason I'm not coming here is because I was up high, I saw where all those people are in the background. And that is what I wanted to film or see. So I ended up just coming into here. And then when I just saw that, <laughs> all right, get the camera out, son. Ah, oh, man. So that is, like I say, if you like sitting along a river, <laughs> running brown. Yeah, I, it's obviously because we've had so much rain that it's running that colour. If you give it about a week of sunshine, then this river will probably run clear. It really will. But there's no way I'd want to be going in there. Not really for me. And that, but this is a Wendy house up there where you could probably stay. It's like a decent place to stay. Getting dubious looks from people, which is the normal case. <laughs> I think they're in the bar, probably wondering why I parked my horse right there. They do come and watch you, keep an eye on you, what you're doing. <laughs> they do. Like I said, they don't like losing face, so they like, they have to build it up before they come and talk to you, and then they just walk away. But this is the little place I just come to if you want to fancy yourself getting some coffee, sitting by that shitty river. <laughs> Then here you can come and do that in Pai, the new Bali. <laughs> right, I've run on far enough. It's that time of day, you know. Creeps, creeps away. Everybody's just getting up at about 11.30. And I am in need of a happy ending. <laughs> the Pai police yeah, are very, very friendly people indeed. Uh, as they just stopped me and this guys if you come to Thailand you must have international driver's license these set, set first yes everybody everybody yeah these guys that's all they really want and we're and we're one of these yeah I hope for you good I man agree. good man yeah. Kapu. Thank you. Uh, okay. Kapu. safety Kapu. first yeah safety first okay cheers buddy yeah you have a good day thank you Kapum. Kapum Kap. Kap. Sean. Sean. Yeah, my, right, my name is Yoon. Yoon? Yeah. Yoon? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay, and you? Really good. Yeah. Cup home. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Now we're going to get a happy ending. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Got something for you. Listen. 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 going to be working on that I am I might even do a little um, and I'll run with those anyway cheers it is it's the happy ending time it's my favorite part of the vlog the bar I've been trying to find a bar that's open there is not I don't know how legal <laughs> drinking a beer out it is but I did find this bar that looks like it's closed <laughs> it's shut there's a weed place next door look it's all bright, little weed spot in there. I was going to go and sit in the cushions, but I don't know. I saw this place, no one here. It's all closed, so cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Big Leo's. They, um, at Tesco Metro up there, they didn't have any uh, little tins, they just had the little bottles. And I haven't got my cork, corkscrew, I ain't got my bottle opener with me. Oh man, so, um, and I'm parked just there, look, on the side that everybody else is parked. <laughs> so, uh, happy ending. What is it? I love the old bill bit, right? The reason why I got the police on there, they stopped me and checked me. Because I had all my license, my passport, and wearing a hat, he got his other policeman, mate, to take a selfie with me and him, like, uh, as some sort of to have a photo done like hey look, look at this model citizen yeah so i thought that was brilliant and so i asked the cobbler if i could do the same could, could i just film it and that, now the thing of it is i've seen loads of people riding about with no bash hats on here more more so than anywhere 
you know, it's like, ah, oh, we were pie, we were, it, ain't, it ain't what it used to be, this place. It's no, it's a little tourist trap. And the old Bill are fucking doing the right money collector, because when I left, they pulled over about four more people behind me, right, thinking, you, you know, how cool is it riding about without a hat? Well, I don't, because I don't want my hair getting bleached. I try and look after my hair. Well, I like the colour, that it is. And, that. and the only, and the other thing is, the reason why I don't mind wearing a bash hat is obvious. I've got the coolest bash hat in Thailand. I've probably got one of the coolest bash hats anywhere in the world. So I don't mind wearing the fucking thing, you know? It's just like, it's like a shirt. If you had a shirt or a jacket, right? You'd wear it all the time, and you'd be, look, you'd be looking, oh, I'm going out on a bike, so I can wear me out or whatever. It's, it's just as simple as that, that's all it is. That's why I walk about in a hat on the beach and that because it's just a really decent hat a lot better than my hairstyle so it's it, it's good I, I think i look better looking with a hat on i, I do I do it suits me it's like got a pearl you have there mr king look at you you know so anyway <laughs> okay, loads of part thai people up so they're all looking at me really like uh, sort of scruff. I think he's having a sneaky joint. I'm not sure. He's got a cigarette behind him. They keep having a blast and then eyed it up. So I don't know what the, the motorbike rent was, but <laughs> I'm not gonna. Oh, I guess I can sit here and lady watch because this little street, let me show you this street, it gets busy. It's already getting busy. The sun's out. The day has changed somewhat. And as you can see, everybody walks up the street. So if you are right, look, everybody. So if you are riding a moped, it's like annoying. It's hard work. So I parked up, I will be going back, but you know, when I come out and do a night vlog, I'll park up down there and walk. But that's where I am, the day has brightened up. Nice sun, it's all I want to do. It's what I do best, sitting in the sun, having a drink and really being just a bum. It. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. 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 I might have to come out tonight for sure. Cause big day, innit? Big day, innit? That's why I'm wearing a shirt. First time ever. So it could be the bit of luck we need, or it could be the, the kiss of death. <laughs> Who knows? Don't have tomorrow. Don't know me. Oh, don't, don't, don't give me hard time. Uh, so until next time I do appreciate you watching and thank you watching right till the end as that was today's vlog so until tomorrow au revoir